Hey everybody, welcome back to DIY Crafts with Stacy. I know we're in a little bit different setting than we have been from the rest of my videos. Uh, I got lucky and got a new deck over the weekend, so I thought I would do my video out here today and enjoy the crisp air that we've got going on. So for today's video, I know a lot of you guys have probably seen the decorative rocks around our community that people have put messages of hope, love, just to spread joy around the community something fun for the kids and the adults to look for so i thought for today's video i would show you guys what products you need to do that and just a quick walk through on what you'll need and a real quick side note you may potentially see my cats or my chickens make an appearance in the video so just ignore those if you see them <laughs> so let's get started so what you're going to need to create your rocks you are going to need river rocks now i will say be careful if you do order these on Amazon. I did not realize the size of them. Mine are a little bit smaller, but that's okay. It still worked. I was still able to use them. So just, I mean, you can use small ones like this or you can get the larger stones that you typically see out in the community laying around. But either way, they all work. So they were still able to work. So you'll just need your plain, flat, smooth stone. As you can see, as I hold it to the side, it's very, very smooth and thin. All you need to do a couple of days before you plan to paint the rocks, just wash them in just some warm water, get them wiped off, let them dry for a few days, and then you'll be able to paint them. And that's just to get any kind of the rock dust residue off of them that has been with them in packaging. So next you're going to need two to three different sets of brushes. You're going to need your, your wider brushes here, and that is going to be to paint your base coat on your rocks. And then next, in order to do your designs and your wording, I have, as you can see, a little bit of, you can use this one to do words on it. And then I also have, as you can see, my thin point ones. I actually ended up, I think I did one of my words with this one, and then I use, mainly used my thin point to do my rocks. So just whatever you can find at your local craft store, Walmart, or what you could possibly even have at home will work great for that. So next you're going to need your paint. All you have to use is just some plain Jane acrylic paint. You can get this for as cheap as 50 cents a bottle at Walmart. You don't have to go and buy expensive outdoor any kind of paint. Regular acrylic craft paint will work just fine. So luckily for me, I had quite a bit of it at work and here at home. So I actually just pulled from both areas and pulled my colors that I wanted. So I was able to, to get that. So that'll kind of show you. My base coat, I did kind of a little bit of everything. I did not do the black, so let's talk about that. I don't recommend the black. For the most part, you're going to be laying these rocks in mulch. Mulch is typically dark brown, red. It's going to be really hard to see a rock that's this color. You really want these rocks to be able to stand out. So I recommend doing your bright colors. I'm a bright color girl anyway. I love my bright colors. So just some of the ones I did, I did a really pretty, uh, I call it a beach blue. I did a purple, a hot pink, a lime green, and just a couple of other bright colors. I just wanted my rocks to be, to be a little bit brighter. So I'll probably just go lay mine around in different spots in the community. That way people can find them. So what you're going to want to do next is let me get you a rock where you can actually see the color. As you can see, I just painted the top of it. It does not have to be fancy. You can just, you just want to simply paint the top of the rock. You don't have to make it perfect, unless you're like me and you have to try to make it perfect. <laughs> but you don't have to. It's a fun rock that shares a fun message. So you're going to actually do two coats of your base paint. You'll paint it one time, let it dry super quick, and if you're outside in the humidity like we have today, it won't take any time for it to dry. It'll dry super quick. So you just wanna do your two coats of your base paint and you're good to go. I do have a couple of them that I painted. I have to finish them. Just for today's video, I'm not gonna paint because it does take quite a while to do the painting. So I'm trying to keep the video short and sweet for you guys. So like I said, you just paint two coats of your base coat and you're good to go. So next up, you want to paint your messages. For me, I wanted it to be, with everything that we have going on right now in the world, I wanted to be messages of hope. 
you can put Bible verses, you can do one word on them like I have. And again, <laughs> since I, I messed up and bought the smaller rocks, we ended up, I just put the small words on them. Um, I would have loved to have put some larger sayings, some Bible verses, but unfortunately I don't have the large rocks, so I couldn't do that. But you can just Google and look up different sayings that you might want to put on the rocks. You might have Bible verses that you study weekly that you might want to put on it. Anything to spread messages of hope throughout the community and encourage people and bring a smile to their face. So once you paint with, and you can use any color. I did black just so it would stand out on my colors, but you can essentially do any colors for your base coat in any color for your design. It won't matter what you use. So what you wanna do after you get done, you do wanna seal them because they are gonna be outside in the rain, the snow, the sun. I simply, I bought two different types of clear coat. One of them, I'll be honest, I can't find it for this video. So I'm just gonna tell you guys about it. One of them is just the Rust-Oleum Semi-Gloss Clear. I didn't want it to be too shiny. Again, that was just me. You can get the glossy if you want to. But I just bought the Semi-Gloss Clear and sprayed it over my rock, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And you can just use that, just cover the top of the rock. You can also turn it over and spray the bottom, or you can spray the bottom first, flip it over, however you want to do that. This is just to, to enclose the rock, to seal it, to make sure that the paint doesn't wash off of it. I also found on Amazon when I was ordering some couple of other personal things for home, um, something called a UV protective sealant. I have not seen that at Lowe's and Walmart, uh, or they could have it, and I, <laughs> I was just overlooking it. So I ended up getting a UV sealant as well. Uh, again, I can't find it for the video with us doing projects over the weekend. I've misplaced it, but it it looks like it's going to be a great sealant that is will stand up to the sun, and then that way you don't have to worry about the sun fading the rock. So all you want to do is just spray, spray your clear coat on it. And again, mine's semi-gloss, so it's not going to be real shiny. So you can see might be able to see that I just coated it a little bit and that's all you have to do. It's quick and simple. This is an easy craft that you can do, you know, for adults, bring the kids together, you know, while they're doing virtual learning at home, come outside on the deck, put a table out, put a tarp out on the driveway and set up shop and go for it and paint. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon for another DIY with Stacy. Have a great week.